currently water management cannot be done without proper uh, observation of earth, earth observation, remote sensing, uh, gauging, but also modeling, uh, forecasting, uh, and arrangement of all the data sources and knowledge sources that we have in systems that allow managers to have easy access to these knowledge resources, and then making informed decisions. Central here is this connection between data, which is observation of Earth systems, through models that would then uh, be developed based on this data and our very good understanding of natural processes, and then generation of knowledge, which is in fact happening when models are run, because models are encapsulators of knowledge generated by mankind. The knowledge generated cannot be directly used. Uh, analysts should analyze it, uh, format it in a proper way, and present it to managers. We use models to perform what-if analysis, and on this basis to optimize uh, the uh, use of water resources in such a way that different stakeholders would have their share of the water resources, and for example, uh, generation of electrical uh, energy uh, on hydropower dams would not be in conflict with demands of farmers or demands of uh, water managers that think of uh, minimizing uh, damage because of flooding. The course, master course in hydroinformatics, we were the first at UNESCO HE in 1991 to start it. It was the first course, master course in the world. And now we see uh, that there are quite many courses of similar subject appearing at different universities uh, around the world in different countries. Indeed, we were the first, but of course everybody uh, has access now to advances in information communication technology. I can give you an example when uh, uh, technology comes uh, uh, at our fingertips, so we could uh, currently develop systems that would allow us to uh, present the results of uh, uh, models on uh, screens of mobile phones. So this is where the forecast, for example, done for the Netherlands. But in the same fashion, we could currently display uh, results of model predictions for floods. So population could look at uh, their mobile screens, mobile phone screens, and understand if their house will be flooded in the coming day or not. So this type of technology, which uh, you can find now in almost every house, gives us wonderful opportunities to propagate uh, the knowledge developed by scientists and engineers to almost everybody, every citizen. And in this sense, we talk about citizen observatories, so that citizens become participants of water management processes, not only uh, uh, receiving data from water authorities, but also supplying them data. If there is rainfall somewhere in the catchment, they could send a message or send a photo of a flooded area, and then modelers would have a better understanding of what's happening right now in distant areas. Potential is enormous. We're starting just to uh, use uh, some of it, but I'm sure there will be very interesting discoveries and technological developments that uh, would be happening uh, in the coming years.